What are you saying, YouTube? Do you want to make your ST quicker? Well, here's the top five cheapest things to make your ST quicker. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> Number five on the list, strip the car. The easiest way to make this car go quicker, and any car, is to put it on a diet. Take out the rear seats, the parcel shelves, any soundproofing, speakers, if they go all out, you can take out the carpets, the roof liner, all the soundproofing and you want to try and get this car down to about one ton. It weighs 1,140 kilograms. If you get that down to about a ton, you're going to be getting around 150 brake to a ton, which is ridiculous for this car, really. Number four on the list, upgrading the air intake system. Now, the air intake system on the ST is a very restrictive part of the car. You can upgrade it for as cheap as 20 to 60 pounds, like second-hand or brand new. I've, I've got a good system on mine. It cost me around 150, but you can get cheaper systems. The fuel on its own was like 40 quid, I think. Uh, yeah, it's a really restrict restrictive part of the car and it creates for a better system of air getting into the car. You can also start colour coding your engine because you can get colour coded silicones. So you can start actually getting a nice looking engine bay as well. Number three on the list, upgrade the throttle body. Now, the standard throttle body on these are a 55mm throttle body and you can upgrade it to a 60mm. You can either get the one off the Ford Galaxy or get yours bought out by like a machine shop. Uh, to 60 millimeter. What this does with, when used with, say, an aftermarket air filter, will let more air get into the system, and it's said to have got you more power. I don't know, there might not be much power gains, but mixed with uh, the step before the air filter, you'll get a fair amount of gains and better throttle response. This will cost you around 40 to 60 quid. Depends if you go second hand or if you get it bored out by a machine shop. Number two on the list get a new exhaust. Now the exhaust is another really restrictive part on this car. Upgrading it can see some good gains. It managed to get all the fuel, all the burnt fuel out quicker. Um, you can go with a few options. There's, uh, I've got Scorpion, you can go with Miltech. They're quite common options. This won't be for a full system. It's probably more uh, cat back and the back box, but they are some of the most restrictive parts. And for a full system, you're gonna be looking for quite a bit more money. Um, this will set you back probably like 100 to 150 quid. Uh, again, Scorpion, Miltech, they're both good options. And combined with uh, other good breathing mods, as we've mentioned, the throttle body and the air intake, you'll get a nice breathing system car that can breathe in well and can get rid of waste well. I'd recommend a sports cat back just to keep it legal. We have to have a catalytic converter here in the UK, but you can get a decat and that is best for performance because there's no restrictions in getting all of that burnt fuel out. one on the list of the least expensive things to get your ST quicker is getting a copy inlet manifold. Now some people don't like the copy inlet manifolds but I've seen them run and they do work they are quite quite good. Again it kind of putting this with the air filter and the throttle body gives for a better system when it needs to breathe in the air. Um, you can get them for as little as kind of 350 quid compared to like new or secondhand Cosworth ones where you're looking at like 900 quid. Um, and they work fine. I think Ford's aim was to bring it down to around 150 brake because they've got a small exhaust, smaller intake, and smaller um, air filters, like a more restrictive air filter. So I think their aim for when they designed it was to keep the brake horsepower around 150, so they put these more restrictive parts on it and mapped it to, uh, to suit. But yeah, so number one thing you can do, the least amount of money, is put a new inlet manifold on. Well, that's my top five list of the most inexpensive things you can do to your ST to make it quicker. Let me know if there's any I missed off the list. Let me know what you do to your Fiesta ST to make it quicker. Let me know if there are any other options that I may have missed out or something that may be a little bit cheaper than the options I've given. Uh, give me a follow on Instagram. Here. On Twitter. Yeah, if you like the video, maybe give me a subscribe and I'll catch you next time. I'm waiting for you to start. Are you recording? Oh, I'm sure. trying to, I'm waiting. Your head looks too bright. But the air intake on the current system. Wrong words. <laughs> Number four on the left. Did you just stop? <laughs> what are you doing? Do you like the thing? No. Huh? Uh, kind of, but not really. Why the f are you getting closer? You Depending if you got second hand or get yours bored out of the machine. The machine. Again, this will cost you a... This will cost you...
The uh, stock inlet manifold on there, again, is a really restrictive part of the car. I think <laughs> Ford in... Well, you know. Don't let it happen again. Bend the knee. <laughs> <laughs> the stock inlet manifold is a really, really restrictive... Actually, the best no. one is... What? You, you, walked, met? you walked forward and then your head like, wasn't in it. Right. Yeah. Like it. I'm still going. <laughs> so let me know. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you were just sitting there like... Ugh. <laughs> so let me know what you do to your... So let me know what you do to your... Stop laughing, you mom. <laughs> So you're a camera lady. <laughs> you good? Let me know what you do to your Fiesta to make it quicker. <laughs> Mate, I was doing alright and now you've started laughing. <laughs>